surprising what you mind with eyes aligned with no surprises. One shot, hoping I can go for mine. But until that time, Hi, I'm Naisha McCauley, and you're watching AccessTV.org. I'm not necessarily Do you may think you own this town yeah. Not necessarily uh, uh. And you may think that coast is clear sure. But not necessarily uh. The only thing you've got to fear Now when I say diamond, oh, you say oh, what? Oh, diamond, oh, diamond oh, When I say diamond, you say what? We're here with Kyle Young. Kyle uh, is the son of Joe Young. Kyle has played a small part in the movie, but was also a producer on the show, the movie. Um, Kyle, you quit film school to work with your dad. You eventually went back and got your degree. Was it worth it? And, and what did you learn with your dad? Um, yeah, I mean, I would say it was definitely worth taking that year off. I, I learned a lot, got a lot of life experience and went back. Um, I think it's hard to go back and finish for a lot of people, so that was good. Uh, working with my dad just... Knowing that, like, there no is never like the final answer. There's always like a will to do it, and I'm still learning that every day. Even like up until this point, there's always just keep going for it and just make it happen. What was your first book? First book was Colored on White Campus. Uh, pretty much like uh, School Days, a higher learning. Uh, what's that? Uh, yeah, School Days from Spike Lee, higher learning from uh, John Singleton. Mm -hmm. So it was one of those uh, coming of age stories where you find all the politics and all the economics and you know all the information that you get at the college level when you become a radical student mm -hmm. and then you want to fight the power and then you have all this information with you. So that was the first book that I wrote. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Mason with AccessTV.org. What's your name? My name is Melinda DeBetham. I'm the stage coordinator for tonight's program. What do you think of the movie? It's amazing. Joe is an amazing, amazing, amazing writer. What do you think of a local guy, Joe Young, putting together this movie? I think it's great. Then, you guys are going to be thrilled tonight with tonight's performance. Congratulations on the book. Yeah. In the movie. In the movie. In the movie. In the movie. In the movie too. How does it feel to be here, and what do you think of the movie? Oh, I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. What do you think of Joe Young as far as what he's done with uh, in the community as an animator and also with kids and that kind of thing? Joe Young has been with this community forever. He's an outstanding, talented individual, and I am very proud of all the things he's done for this community, and especially for the young people in this community. Great. Thanks, Cynthia. Thank you. Stan, we're here with Anna Petrova from New Britain, who was an extra in the movie. Uh, she was 15 at the time, and uh, she's 18 now, I guess. Going to be. Going to be 18. And how did you enjoy being in the movie? Oh, it was very fun. I got to spend about eight hours here. I got like seven different outfits. I had to bring a whole suitcase. And uh, I had a lot of fun. People kept doing my makeup and hair, so I couldn't complain. Now, did you get comfortable being an actress? Uh, is it something you can see yourself doing professionally? Oh, definitely. I love doing it. I've done more work with Joe since. We've done a different movie, so I've enjoyed the partnership and I enjoyed the acting in front of the camera. Uh, Stan, we're with Damone and Joy Mitchell. Uh, Damone, uh, tell us, what role did you play in the movie? I actually played uh, uh, CO, Officer Jones, and actually he was my partner. Officer, a uh, cop? Yes. Did you uh, explore the role at all, or did it come natural? Oh, no, I had to explore the role. I actually had training with the actual cops and COs in the actual building and stuff, and they, uh, Fredro Starr and everybody said, he's the realest, he's the oldest, he's the OG CO, and I've never done any of that. that was Joy, did you see him on, on, uh, as he was doing rehearsing and stuff? No, I didn't, but this is going to be my first time seeing the movie, him acting, actually, so I'm so excited. Great, thanks, guys. Thank All right, you. thank you. We're here with Roy Russell from Hartford. Roy is an actor himself. 
Uh, Roy, you were there in the beginning three years ago when they were rehearsing at Cheshire uh, yeah, yeah. Prison. Uh, it's finally here. What do you think this film will do for the community? Marvelous, man. Marvelous. I hope this become more prevalent in Hartford. You know, we don't never have many events like this. I've been waiting over 30 years for this type of thing. You know what I'm saying? And to see this happening and to know that a uh, native is uh, putting on something on a big screen is awesome. You know what I'm saying? I hope we can continue this. And that's all I have to say. Thanks, Roy. Okay, thank you. Roy Russell, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Norm Golden. And I'm Joan Barber. I'm his date. Okay, and uh, are you here for the movie, I hope? I'm here for the movie, yes, I am. And what's your relationship with the movie and well, Joe I'm Young? in the movie. You're in the movie, yeah, okay. Called, um, Robert Goldberg. Robert Goldberg, and what's your character? That's that's the character. I know, but what's 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 his role in life? Uh, he's a down and out kind of character that um, Diamond picks up to be part of his group, and then has a falling out with him. And uh, during the bank robbery, Robert comes in and foils the bank robbery, and is now, killed. Now, what do you do for regular work? I'm an actor. You're, you're a professional actor. Yes. One of the few, right? Or, or... I don't know. Am I one of the few? <laughs> and, and you're from local, from Hartford. I'm from uh, New York. New York. Where are you staying? Uh, we just came out for the evening. Okay, great. Well, thanks. Nice, nice meeting you. Movie. Yeah. You want to have anything to say? Very excited to yeah. see the film. Uh, you've seen it before on the no, big screen? I haven't. I haven't, so I'm really looking oh, forward to it. not this one. You've it. seen me before I've on the big screen. I've seen him on the big screen, but I'm very excited to see this film. Screen, yeah. uh, we're here with Willie Brody, who had a uh, part as what, uh, Willie, in the one movie? Of the, one of his hitchmen. One of his hitchmen <laughs> to go rob the bank, me and Snoop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Was there any uh, uh, muscle involved? Was there any kind of... Well, that was the pur purpose of him calling me because he needed some muscle to go ahead on and handle the situation. So he called me and Snoop. So, you know, me as the muscle. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> Speaking of muscle, muscle Willie, uh, who is this guy in between us? Because I've never met him before. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, who are okay, you? Okay, I'm Roy Russell. Okay, I'm excuse from me, Hopkinton. Roy. Yeah, Roy. <laughs> Stan, we're here with um, Deborah Smith and her daughter, Lenice. Lenice, you had a, a part in the play, in the movie, I should say. Um, tell me about it. I play Young Diamond's mother, who is an addict, a drug addict. Um, and it's just a marvelous uh, transformation that they did on me. And it's, it, was a, it was a great role. It was a challenging role to play an act. What is it about acting that people love? For me, you get to be someone else for a little while. And it, there's nothing wrong with you, kid. There's nothing wrong. You, you never lose your imagination if you keep on acting. There's nothing wrong with her, right, Ma? There is nothing wrong. <laughs> she does challenge herself. I'm very proud of her. Very proud of her. Are you excited about seeing her on the big screen? Yes, I am. I haven't asked a lot of questions. I want to be surprised with the rest of the audience. All right. Thanks for coming. Have a good time. Thanks. Uh, Jay, uh, Jay Lewis uh, and yeah. your wife Carrie. Yeah. Mark Carrie. Okay. Yeah. Um, what do you want to be known as, actor or chef? Uh, actor and chef. Actor and <laughs> actor chef. Actor and chef. Yeah. You can't have it all, Jay. All right, actor I don't and know chef. Who told you that? Uh, you're right. You're right. My father. Damn it. Yeah. Anyway, well, <laughs> uh, what I'm gonna say is, what did you think of the movie? The movie's fantastic. I was really happy to be a part of it. Um, it, it really started my acting career and. It's an amazing product. It's an amazing project. It's, uh, Connecticut should be really proud of what they've done here. Is that something you're pursuing now, professional actor? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I've been in a couple of movies uh, and uh, stage plays since since this uh, Diamond Rough, the first uh, installment, ended. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's so much to do in this industry. So yeah, it's definitely something I'm looking to pursue. Yeah. Okay, Carrie, any aspirations for you in acting, or are you <laughs> just a supportive wife? Or? I'm a supportive wife and nurse. He's yeah. the actor uh, in the family. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. but but couldn't be done without her. I, I honestly think that. Couldn't yeah. really be done without her. Um, right. So. Good. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming. Was good. Have a good time no, in no there. Problem. Okay, guy. Uh, and you may think that coast is clear, sure. but not necessarily. Uh, the only thing you've got to fear. Now when I say diamond, you say rough. Diamond, diamond. When I say diamond, you say rough. Diamond, diamond. I'm sorry. When I say 
Uh, okay, we are with students from the Greater Hartford Academy of the Arts. These are future actresses and actors, I presume. What is it about acting that uh, people seem to, what is it about the red carpet that seems to bring out the life and the excitement in people? Who wants to talk for the group? Um, I. What's your name? Alexa. My name's Alexa. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> and um, I just think it's, it's the whole atmosphere of the, of the place that really brings the entire um, premiere to life. Okay. And if you do become a famous actress, will you remember your friends? Yes, of course I will. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. Okay. Thank you. I'm here with Curtis, Curtis Robinson, excuse me, Curtis, uh, who's given a, lar a large part of his time and, and efforts to the, helping the community and working in the community. Curtis, uh, something like this, what does it do for the community, uh, this kind of movie, a local kid uh, putting this together, you know, putting his money together and striving to uh, get this project off the ground? I think it's very admirable. I mean, you know, I, I'm not sure, I'm not a historic, historian on Hartford, but I don't think a premiere ever been done in the city of Hartford like this. And uh, it's very uh, rewarding for the city. I think that it's going to, you know, these young kids need an image and they need a role model. And Joe Young is a role model. And to put something like this together uh, with very limited funds, uh, being a local guy, uh, I don't know if this ever been done in the city of Hartford where it was executive produced, directed by a local guy, uh, funded by local people such as myself and a few other people. And uh, I, think it's, I think it's very good. I think it's, if, if Hartford can catch on, if they can catch on, it would create a tremendous amount of jobs and hopefully it'll give a kids, kids new directions in terms of what they want to do with their future lives. Thanks, Curtis. Let me ask you this, what do you think of this whole idea about Joe Young putting this movie together? Uh, what does it do for the community? Uh, Joe, Joe has been talking to me about this uh, project for uh, I don't know how many years and um, I'm happy, very happy to see that it's finally coming to fruition. Joe is one of the, the really great guys uh, in the city of Hartford on the art scene. He's doing uh, phenomenal things with young people and trying to introduce them you know, to the arts and. Uh, forms of expression, and I'm, you know, I'm very confident and very hopeful that this will be a, a fantastically successful uh, venture for him. Okay, we're here with Felicia Pearson, one of the stars of the movie. Felicia, I read about your background, where you came from. Does it ever dawn on you? Do you ever say to yourself, like, how did I get here? What did I do to make it this far? I know how I got here. God, man. You know, that's all I can say is God, man. But, um, and also Mike K. Williams, you know. Uh, I met him at a nightclub one night, and the rest was history. I'm here. What did he do for you? Uh, he brought me on the side of the wire, you know, just a, you know I mean, what, uh, extra, but the writers and the producers love me, so, you know, they kept me, wrote me in. What do you love about acting? Uh, just the challenging things that I'm going through, man. <laughs> the challenge. I love what, the challenge. What do you think of this movie? Uh, Joe Young, he, what, he did his thing, man. I can't wait to... See the finished product, man. But you I mean Joe Young did his thing, man. Ha, ha, ha.
please welcome to the stage New York Times best-selling author, NAACP Image Award winner, and your host for the evening, Omar Tyree. But I'm Omar Tyree from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm back up in Hartford, Connecticut. I'm one of the guest hosts for this entire evening. First off, let's give another big hand for the Hartford Demons. And I want to let y'all know that they're going to be performing again at the Lincoln Center on November the 30th. So if you want to see more though, I don't think I only did one song. They're going to do more songs at the Lincoln Center on November the 30th. So come back and check them again. And I want to introduce you all to a great evening here at the Diamond Rock Movie Red Carpet Premiere. All right? And Joe Young did a lot of great things to make sure this happened. I'm going to make it brief so we can see this movie, but let it be today that you never doubt your right to have success, no matter how great the obstacles. Never say, if I become, always say, when I become. Sherry, never look down that road and say, I could have. You keep your mind straight ahead and say, I did, I am, I will. Each of us here has a unique talent that no other person possesses. We must use our talents like Curtis Robinson, Sam Gray, not only to advance ourselves, but a brother, a sister, a friend, even a stranger. All right? And you know, basically, let's go see this movie, Don Ruff. I'll see you next time. See you at the VIP. Oh, oh, oh. Don't forget about the after party at Club Pier. All right. We love, okay, did you enjoy the movie? Yeah. Paris Spain, what's up? Uh, first, before I forget, did you guys enjoy the models? Let's give a big round of Stacey Law, fashion, give a round of applause to all the models. Could all the Diamond Ruffs cast the crew at Red Carpet Committee please stand up? They work hard, scooping everybody. Well, first of all, this is just the beginning. We have a lot of projects coming, so please support us. After, there's for the VIP, there's some VIP stuff. And then there's a big after party tonight at Pierre, come join us and celebrate. And, and basically, I just want to say, without, I believe, Harford, well, you know, Dave Chappelle said something recently. You know, we don't, we're not with that. There is something going to, uh, to happen in Harford, and that's not a nuclear bomb, but a major film contract. That's what's going to hit Harford. So Tyrone Kyler, Mark Manson and all these filmmakers can get where they have to go. All right, as far as music, Harvard today is just the beginning. Martin Luther King said something really special. Martin Luther King said, if you can make a better mousetrap than your main neighbor, even if it's in the woods, the world will make a beaten path to your door. So ladies and gentlemen, if we create equality, Hollywood's coming to us and we're going to create jobs. But also, let me say, let's give a big round of applause to our investors who invested in this. Without them, this wouldn't happen. All right? And last, and certainly not least, Harford loves you. We're doing a Harlem Man cartoon who said, Ancient Egypt, Harford, Connecticut is the new Jerusalem. I'll see you guys later. Pockets, suit, suit, sneakers on, cheap and choking, I don't defuse the bomb When you do it, do it calm, cause you never knew what cool to do Mr. Freeze, 10 degrees, colder with the regiment All this is irrelevant, I feel I'm gonna build up Quench thirst, fill cup You can't stop me, I'm a hustle and you still suck And I will run, Tommy Gun will then Got this dream and a funny little feeling Why does it seem Can you support yourself now on, on movies? Well, not, not yet, not yet Not yet <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> I told you, security, security. Willie, thanks for coming and congratulating. Thank you. We're all proud. I don't, I don't know that guy. <laughs> Back to you, Steve. I'm sure we can edit that, right? You may think that coast is clear, sure. but not necessarily. Uh. The only thing you've got to now when I 